child is in the second grade at school, there are more than 20 kids in the team. We have different families, some of them are very well off, some of them are low income. But there is one boy whose family is very needy. Stepan is a very nice boy, and his mother is also very decent. They used to live normally, and then at one point the father decided that he had had enough of the family and left. He had a new love, a big and bright one, and not his previous life. She applied for alimony, but she got pennies her ex-husband was very shrewd, and changed jobs with minimal official income. She herself works, but she has a sick mother, and her pension is barely enough to treat her. The child always walks clean, but it is obvious that the uniform is well worn, for gymnastics, probably a month went in school shoes there were no sneakers. And my mother never complained. A mutual acquaintance told one of my mothers about how hard it was in the family, and she told the whole world in confidence. We had 5-6 classes a week in the second grade of 5 day week. By the end of classes the kids are already hungry, so they have to have lunch at school. I take my daughter home, she says she is really hungry. So I ask her. Why are you hungry? You have lunch after 4th period. You haven't eaten or been fed. Mom, I haven't eaten today. What happened? Was it bad? I don't know, it must have been good. Daughter, can you explain to me what happened? Mom, don't scold me. Stepashka's mom, that's how they call him, has no money for lunch, he finishes eating after us. And today in gym class all ran a date lunch, and I was late for lunch. The last one to come in, my portion is still there, and Stupa was hungry. And I felt so sorry for him that I gave him mine. I just wept, on the one hand, of course, I am not happy that my child was left hungry, on the other hand I am glad that I grow such a kind child. It means I am bringing him upright. A little time passes, we have a parent meeting. And so begins another bizarre station. Everyone gathers together to yell, the poor teacher does not know who to answer. Then one of the mothers raises the issue of food. She says she is not satisfied that her son finishes eating for children, they say his sight spoils the children's appetite, then begs for something. Although I spoke with my daughter he is not begging, sits on the sidelines until they have dinner. The children are just kinder than their parents, who will give them an apple or a cutlet. All in a friendly murmur, Stupa's mother sits red as a cancer. Shouting, debating whether or not to forbid him to enter the canteen at all. 